What's up guys? So today is like errand day. We're getting some stuff done. Uh, I'm finally getting my taxes done for 2010. Uh, that's not my fault though. Uh, it's actually my accountant's well, fault. It is your fault. But, uh, he, well, he got it delayed anyway. So, I mean, it's not like I'm not like paying extra fees or anything. He got them like extended, I think you say. Uh, but yeah, uh, so that's, that's fun. I've got to pay some money to the government who doesn't deserve it. They, they did not take a part in earning my money at all. Money. It, it, it's it's terrible actually I, I like this year was a lot better on taxes for me than it was last year because I actually paid uh, I went to a good accountant and I ended up like paying the accountant like $30 more than I paid the woman that I went to last year and uh, like I saved a thousand dollars on taxes I don't want to like say money or anything like like give information out about my money or anything like that but I made a lot more uh, in 2010 than I did in 2009 and I paid a thousand dollars less in taxes because I went to a good accountant the reason I wanted to bring that up uh, is because once you guys like actually start paying taxes and have to do your taxes and everything especially if you own your own business pay the extra money to go to a good accountant that can do a good job for you because last year I wish I'd have did that. I spent way too much money than I should, and I paid the woman way too much money than I should, uh, and I did most of the work. Uh, so this guy definitely hooked me up. He did like really good, uh, and I'm paying a lot less in taxes than I did last year. Uh, so it made me a lot happy. I was like, I, I was thinking I was gonna be paying like three or four times what I'm paying. Uh, so, so it definitely made me happy, but I still gotta pay a lot. So that sucks. Uh, so I'm gonna go in here and, and I'm, I'm gonna get my taxes finished, so I don't have to worry about it anymore. It's time to check the P.O. box one last time and let's see if you guys sent us anything cool. This is, this is a big moment in time here. Okay, shut up. Oh, we actually do have something. A key. And then those stupid freaking eyes. We always get these. We got one letter. Yay! Somebody was supposed to, oh wait, yeah, we do have the thing. What a, what a big disappointment, guys, thanks. Shut up. <laughs> Just look. We told them not to send it. Yeah, we said don't send anything, so I guess maybe that's fine. Okay, get that key. What All number? Right, let's, see what, let's see what's in the... These things would make me excited. Thing. Number four. Where's that? Where's that? There it is. Drop my keys. If I can get this key in. These things are always so annoying to like, get the key in there. Yeah. These things make me excited. Uh, oh my god, we actually got stuff. What? Aww. What is that? Someone sent you baby milk for Boo. Oh, baby milk. And then, I don't know what this is. Well. But we'll look at it when we get in the car. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, so we're looking at the, the slim like stuff they sent us. Are you sure this is for Boo or is this a joke toward me and you? Because we're going to have a baby. I don't know. We're not Guys, having a baby. Don't say we that. We have big news. Because we're having a baby. Gray is pre I'm just kidding. You're a freaking idiot. <laughs> So they sent us some, let's see. Look, it's closed. They have it so it's closed. Like, okay, so it's cool. Not. Yeah, I was like, if this is for Boo, we may not be able to give it to him. Just because we're worried is that the we're worried the somebody would like poison Boo or something. Is that all it is? Yeah. So it, it's like baby formula. Anyways, I don't, I don't even care about that. Oh my god, that. we were in the post office. Here so I was carrying that. is the thing that's freaking awesome. Oh my god, is that not freaking sweet? He did a really good job with the Mountain Dirt logo. This is a wallet, by the way, and it has e it even has tie on the back. Check it freaking out. Like, it, and he made it really good too. I am like so excited to use this wallet. Like, like check how sweet that is. Mountain freaking Dirt. And just so you guys, just to show you guys, if I can get it out. I still use, that's what she said, <laughs> I still use the wallet, uh, wasn't, who's sent us this? I don't remember your name, I feel terrible. We've got a lot of wallets, but I'm not going to lie, I, I got to pick a favor here. The freaking Mountain Dirt wallet is sweet. Holy crap, that's awesome. He touched you the right uh, so, way yeah, yeah, I love this, and I'm definitely switching this when I get home. Uh, so his name's Johnny. I read his letter. Uh, yes, ironically, his name is Johnny. He likes Mountain Dew, Sun Drop. Uh, he tried Sun Drop and said it was like it, it was amazing the first time he tried it. And uh, he even skateboards. Uh, and he's from Minnesota. And I, I would say her last name, but I have no idea how to pronounce it. And it even he even calls her Grizzly Gray. So thank you so much for the letter uh, and the wallet. That is a freaking sweet wallet. Thank you for taking the time to do that. You like that's really really awesome that you did that. I really really appreciate it. Thank you guys to everybody that sent us something to our PO box. 
we have a lot of stuff at home so if you've sent us something recently or in the last few months don't worry we got it we're gonna get around to it soon I just wanted to show these uh, because we're here we picked it up and we videoed it picking it up uh, so stay tuned we will get to the other stuff uh, soon maybe in this vlog maybe in the future I don't know yet just just be patient with us promise we've looked at all your stuff we're going to look at all your stuff and uh, and do it on video and talk about it there you go now guess what we're doing you know you know what we're doing you know what I'm saying uh -huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> five five dollar foot long subway please be a sponsor of our vlogs we would love that I, I would I would love you as a sponsor subway so we're gonna need some really good subs yes oh my god it smells so good in here so delicious get the Italian herbs and cheese Turkey, Swiss, tomatoes, lettuce, mayo, pickles, pepper, oil, vinegar, toasted. Oh, it's the bomb. I've already ate half of it. It's disappeared. It was right here and now it's not. Oh, we've seen this. Lion King. Uh, and Grace said something about a new Lion King coming out. My mom said Lion King greedy. That's all she tweeted. Or not tweeted to me. <laughs> Your mom does not tweet, Grace. My mom texted me, Lion King 3D. And I was like, oh my god. That'd be cool. Lion King else. 3D. Would you guys go see Lion King in 3D? I probably would. I used to like That's Lion my King. Favorite. Yeah, Lion King used to be one of my favorites. I don't like it now, especially because Gray sings the songs all the time in the shower. Mm -hmm. So annoying. I can hear her in there like, it's just Disney Wanna movies. be the very best no king was before. <laughs> Keep going. Something, something, <gasps> looking down. Working, working on, on the roar. roar. I bet I said floor. <laughs> I don't remember it, but yeah, it used to be good movies. So would you guys see Lion King in 3D? Remember they did like Lion King like two and a half or three really? and a half and stuff? I love that. Did they do, ever do a Lion King 3? I don't think so. Yeah. I think it was like one, two, and then two and a half. And yeah. I was with Timon and Pumbaa. Bring Lion King back. You brought everything else back. Why not bring Lion King back? Oh. 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 <laughs> These are apple snaps. Like, These are a new thing. It looks like uh, like a 90 year old apple. <laughs> Good? I would try one, but I'm eating my sub right now. It's too delicious. It's good. That looks like a 90 year old apple. It's just an apple that's been like. You know what I was just thinking about? You guys know what went down in this very subway? Napalm strike inbound. <laughs> If you guys have been watching our vlogs for a long time, you'll remember that. Napalm strike inbound. Uh, Nova gas. <laughs> oh, RC let's see what else. Or RC. Enemy RC, or spy plane. Kitty spy planes, you remember that? Mm -hmm. Oh my god, kitty spy planes. I, I just remembered the kitty spy planes. We gotta show Johnny those, because he doesn't even get those. Oh, like, Johnny wasn't that. even around during those those little puns and inside jokes. You guys remember the kitty spy planes inbound. I should make a kitty, kitty spy plane. If you don't remember that, go watch kitty spy planes inbound, but you'll have to watch like like a few videos before that, right? Because it was, we did the Napalm Strike Inbound, and I think Kitty Spy Planes is the next video. Or like uh, two videos after that. Mm -hmm. I don't know, might go go find Kitty Spy Plane and go find the videos around that. And Napalm Strike Inbound is basically... Yo man, these are good. It, it's a reference to Black Ops, where they, they I don't want to... They do uh, like drop uh, fire or whatever, like... You know, peace? No, they don't want a peace. <laughs> they're, they're listening to me talk. Oh, Napalm important. Strike is where you, it drops fire basically across the whole map on uh, Black Ops, uh, but it's a reference to taking a fiery poop. Tyler, <laughs> as other people are in here. <laughs> Anyways, uh, so yeah, go watch those videos. They're, they're hilarious. We were just coming out of Subway, and I thought I'd share this with you guys. Uh, there was probably like a 55 year old woman, or no, she was probably older, no, she was probably like in her 50s, 45, 48, something like that, she was older, anyway, she did not have a bra on, either that or she had a sports bra on, and you could see, what are they called, Gray? Nipples. <laughs> you could see them, and they were huge. And Tyler was staring if, at them. No, I was not, I, like, I, I seen her walk in the door, and I was, like, I was just like, oh my god, it's like the first thing I noticed. If you are over the age of, well, if you're any age, if you're any girl, don't walk out with your freaking being able to see the profile of your boobs. Alright, and then uh, Gray is, she was like I was saying, like, that's disgusting. Why is she doing that? And then Gray goes, well, if it was a hot girl, you wouldn't be complaining about it. I was like, uh, I, I guess you're right. 
But uh, <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I, I just think that if you're like in your 50s, nobody wants to see your boobs. Don't walk around with them profiled for everybody. <laughs> I did not just do anything related to milkshakes. It's just a weird video. It is hot and I was dancing. Look at it, it's sweating. Ended up with my shirt off. That's all I'm going to say. Go check out the video on Ty's off now. I'm just finished filming it. Now I've got to edit. I have no idea why I did that. It started out as an unboxing and I ended up at the end of it dancing with my shirt off. <laughs> so my so my new video on Todd's iPhone Help has been up for a few minutes, and uh, it's got some good and bad comments on it. Uh, I kind of messed up, I think, when I did the video. Like, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, spoiler alert. If you guys haven't seen it, go ahead and click right here, watch the video. Give you a few seconds here. Click it. Seriously, watch it. Pause this video. Come back to it uh, after you're done watching. All right. So. Uh, a lot of people started watching the video and thought that it was an actual t-shirt unboxing and then I was that enthused about it. And, I, and then I was like, people, you, can you not tell I'm talking about how awesome the box is? Anyways, uh, I, could, I should have cut the part out where I was talking about the box to make the video shorter because at the end, I do a dance to the milkshake song, which was pretty funny after putting on the t-shirt that I unboxed. Uh, and I called the video best unboxing ever. So I, I don't know, I feel like I should have made the video shorter. Because a lot of people are probably watching it and then like, oh, this is so stupid. He's actually unboxing a t-shirt from Apple. He's that much of a fanboy that he actually likes it and thinks it's the best t-shirt ever. Like, you could, like, if somebody did watch that and didn't think I was, like, joking, I don't know. Anyways, uh, I, I thought it was funny. I like doing it. And, uh, I mean, I, I care if you guys like my videos, but at the same time, I want to make videos that I like, so... I thought that video is hilarious, and if you watch it to the end, I'm pretty sure you'll think it's hilarious too. But I think most, like, it got like 12 dislikes right at the first like few minutes uh, that it was posted because I guess people didn't watch it to the end. They had no idea. They thought I was just unboxing a T-shirt and being serious about it. Anyways, it was hilarious. Go check it out and leave a comment. Let me know what you think about it after you watch it all the way to the end. It was a little bit too long. I should have cut it shorter. I feel, I'm kind of mad at myself that I didn't because that video could have been popular. I don't know how well you guys can see this, but there's like a big spider web like right here. And he was just like, building it before, but he finished now. Like, look how big that thing is. And the spider's like way up there in the corner, if you can see it. It's my thumb. Right there. It's like huge. Uh, but check that out. It's like a huge spider web. Maybe you can see it better in the light. It's gigantic. It's crazy. Holy crap, right when I turned the camera off, I had a gigantic spider on my leg. I and it wasn't that one. It was a different one. <laughs> I thought it was a cricket at first, holy crap, I'd probably freaked out if I knew it was that big of a spider. I'm not really scared of spiders, but I'd probably freaked out if I seen that on my leg. And it almost went in my shoe too, that would have been terrible. This bug just like started flying and hit the ground. They're, they're all around our house. God, they're disgusting. Mac loves them. He's like, I'm gonna eat this thing. He'll scare him, it'll scare him. Uh. <laughs> So I was thinking about this because we were at the bank earlier today and on one of the TVs we seen that people have spider webs like uh, bulletproof skin. Basically they take spider web and, and they... Goat milk. And what? Goat milk. And goat milk? I didn't read that part. But they, they like intertwine it with skin and it basically makes bulletproof skin because you know how they say spider web is like thicker or stronger than steel which... I mean, I understand, I guess, but at the same time, I don't. Because, like, you can break a spider web so easy, but that's only one thread. So, I mean, I guess if, like, if you took enough spider web as it would as the same thickness of a piece of steel, it would be stronger than steel, which, that makes sense, but, I don't know. Like, if, like, if that was an option, like, say your skin got burnt off or something in a fire, and you had the option to replace it with bulletproof spider web goat milk skin or whatever it is. Would you do that? Like how freaking awesome would that be? Be like, go ahead, shoot me. And then you get shot and it, it like just hurts. Well, I'm sure it hurt like really bad still. Something going that fast, but I don't know. Is, do you think it's actually possible to make bulletproof skin? Apparently it is. So what do, you, what do you guys think about that? If you could like, or even if you don't get hurt or get something burn off of you. If you had the option to change the bulletproof skin, you'd look exactly the same, you'd recover quick and everything like that. Would you do it? I don't know if I would. Would you, Gray? I would. You would it go would through. Be cool. 
You would go through a major operation like that? No, I don't think it'd be a major operation, but I heard it. And yeah, it would. It, That's the largest or, uh, organ in your body. They said that it wasn't like to actually work. They just wanted to see how it would work and to try it out. Just a fun experiment. Yeah, but yeah. like what if they actually started doing it? They started doing it, that'd be crazy. That'd be pretty cool. Like if they started using it, that, that would be pretty crazy. Oh, by the way, uh, did we mention we just hit 26,000 subscribers? Booyah! Well, actually, we hit 26,000 the other day, but we forgot to mention it to you guys, so thank you guys so much. You're so awesome for hitting, let, helping us hit 26,000 subscribers. Thank you guys for watching our vlogs every day. Mac is hitting me in the face right now with this tail, and it hurts, <laughs> or the back of the head, or whatever. Uh, so thank you guys that watch. We really appreciate it. Hopefully, you guys keep watching, and hopefully, that number 26,000 is at 100,000. 2,600, though. Yeah, 2,600, that'd be even better. <laughs> Uh, by the end of the year, a hundred thousand or even fifty thousand. Even I'm I'm amazed that we have twenty six thousand subscribers. I know all of them don't watch our videos, but even like seven eight thousand people watch our vlogs every day. It's freaking awesome. I love it. Ties I found helping pirate grade. Working hard doing vlogs, man, every day. Being funny, huh? What can I say? Helping everybody, man, videos on the way. Subscribe today, hit like and play.